Felony charges tonight in the death of a four-year-old girl. Her mother and her babysitter are both in jail. Reporter Jeremy Diesel has new information on this story that he broke on KHLU 11 News at 5. And, J.D., it took a while for them to reach this conclusion. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. But it will be warm all day as well as at night. High heat sounds like someone the Astros could use. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> That's true. All right, thank you, Gene. You guys like Arby's? I love Arby's oh, Roast yeah, like oh, A private equity firm, which also owns Cinnabon, say selling Arby's will let them focus on reinventing their own channel. Does that mean a Cinnabon with beef and cheddar? Maybe so. We can only hope. <laughs> you know, there are no easy answers to this next question. Who should take care of a six-month-old boy? The foster couple that's raised him since birth or the couple that's caring for his siblings? KHOU 11 News reporter Courtney Zabowski takes us inside this case. KHOU 11 News. All right, good advice, Jeff. You want to know who you're dealing with. Ailey ISD is stepping up security after a girl reported that someone tried to kidnap her. It appears two Houston men just rolled the dice and lost. They're accused of cheating a Louisiana casino at the roulette table. Police say the men worked with two dealers at the La Barge de Luc to make bets after the ball had dropped, and that is a big no-no. It goes poof, at yeah. the same time. The next thing you're going to tell us, you found the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man there. <laughs> well, that, that is scary. The that yeah. is scary. I was just hoping he'd bring back some rigatoni. <laughs> well, you know, you may not believe in ghosts, but you may believe in rain. Uh, we, well, we'd we like to. We do believe in well, rain. And there yeah. were some who we saw believe, some rain. We believe. We take believe. a look at this on HD Doppler. We are going to take you to Reliant, where fans got their first look at the teams practicing for the championship, and we'll be walking you through this bracket town for the fun inside this amazing fan fest. <laughs> and we're loving it, though. We are live tonight from the Brown Convention Center in downtown Houston. What do they say? Feed a cold, starve yes. a fever. Yes. But in this case, just surrender. You'll be glad you did. We are at Bracket Town, where there is fun for the whole family, and we're going to show you around in a couple of minutes. But first, KHOU sports anchor Butch Alcindor is live at Reliance Stadium. Of course, by now you know the Mavs won it all last night. They are the NBA champions. Yeah, but a lot of people, <laughs> Gene Norman, uh, were sure it was going to be a Miami win, including the staff at the Miami Herald newspaper. A special NBA final section in today's paper held a Macy's ad congratulating the Heat on their championship. Yeah, huge ad selling Heat championship hats and shirts and such. Paper and Macy says, oops, sorry about that mistake. It's like when the Chicago Daily Tribune said that uh, Dewey Thomas Dewey would be Harry Dan Truman. Truman yeah. That <laughs> didn't happen either. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. So I know Greg and Lucy, you're going to be out here. You're going to be wearing these tattoos. Absolutely. Yeah, right. like that stuff. Time for you to hit the showers. Tatted up. I would try I that break dancing, but I'd be afraid I'd break a hip. <laughs> exactly. You and me both. <laughs> we'll, we'll see you again at 6. Thanks. You know, Bracket Town opens at the Brown Convention Center at 5 tomorrow night and runs for five days. But until then, no relief, even on the long range, long range forecast. Oh, I don't no. see too many changes for us. I like your graphic. I'll take the tie in the middle. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that was nice. It's a really ugly one. <laughs> it's, it's the only kind I wear. I know. Thank you, Gene. Oh, oh you know. know. Thank you. Don't Thank say you. I know, well, Gene. I mean, the present. <laughs> These clip ones look great. <laughs> Ah, they're getting better all the time. Uh -huh. Hey, you know what? If you guys are looking for a new home, its new owner is a 22-year-old British heiress. Yeah, nice little starter home there. I love that. You know, Mark Zuckerberg, the guy who invented Facebook, is worth a gazillion dollars, and a little Facebook fatigue won't change that. But a new study says a lot of people are getting sick and tired of the social networking site. This is a KHOU 11 News breaking news report. Good afternoon, I'm Greg Hurst, and we continue to follow breaking news out of Northeast Harris County. This is the stubborn fire that continues to burn up around the spring area. You see the smoke filling your screen. It's also filling this area, as are those flames there. We've been told that firefighters are currently evacuating some homes near the spring area along the streets that are in the Breckenridge Forest subdivision, which could mean a couple of things. Number one, firefighters, as you can imagine, are having a tough time controlling the blaze, and the homes in this area are seriously being threatened. Good afternoon, I'm Greg Hurst, and we are following breaking news out in West Harris County. This is a chase that is making its way through West Harris County on some surface roads, in fact, through a neighborhood. As you can see, it's this black sedan that right now Precinct 5 deputy constables are in hot pursuit of. We are working at this point to find out a little bit more about the circumstances surrounding this chase. And we're moving fast because there is quite a bit of breaking news right now. So let's take you out to Brookshire where a teenager has been shot and killed. KHOU 11 News reporter Kevin Reese is there live. Kevin, what can you tell us? Well, I can tell you first while we're standing, we're at South Street in Solomon Lane. And now to the story we were going to lead with after all this other stuff started happening yes. in the middle of the afternoon. The heat wave that's just blistering our area. We broke a record yesterday. Back to you. All right, Jeff, thank you very much. You know, there are only a few techniques in fighting these big fires like this. You just cannot 
kill a fire with a hose. Firefighters will, of course, use water with hopes of containing that blaze, perhaps isolating it or containing it to a certain area or acreage. Otherwise, they just burn until they can't burn anymore, and that means the flames hit a large roadway or a backburned area or a body of water. I can also tell you that in dry conditions like this, the brush, what you're seeing here, the dry brush, the dead grass are just fuel for this fire. And if the wind conditions are right, like they have been today, this fire can be pushed along for miles. It can be pushed across fields. And if the wind is strong enough, even across some highways. And that's when it gets dicey, because if the flames are that big and the wind that strong, that's when homes, businesses, and other structures are threatened. And if that happens, firefighters will do just what they are doing now and ask people to evacuate. As we talk about the winds, let's go ahead and bring in our chief meteorologist, Gene Norman, who's been watching that wind flow coming, I think, out of the south, isn't it, Gene, pushing exactly the flames right. to the north? All day long, Greg, we've had a steady wind. All right, you're certainly right there, Gene. It can create these health concerns when it's blowing that smoke. It gets up into the jet stream. That smoke can travel great distances and create air quality concerns. You know, on a fire like this, firefighters have to cut the fuel at the source. So sometimes they're going to cut fire breaks. They'll use these bulldozers, as we've seen in other pictures, to churn up the ground and clear that brush because dirt, the good thing about it, dirt doesn't burn. You know, the firefighters will also fight fire with fire. I've seen them set these controllable backfires and burn up the dried underbrush that can fuel wildfires. The fire breaks can also help smother a blaze. So uh, there are all kinds of techniques they can use to try to fight these fires and get them under control. We have on the phone with us now Russell Hubbard, who's with the Red Cross. And Russell, I understand that you've already set up at least one shelter up there in that area, I believe in the 800 block of East Main in the spring area. Is that the first United Methodist Church? That's right. Everything is back to normal at DPS offices across the state. Earlier today, the lines Oh, the lines. They were even longer than usual. That's because a computer problem interrupted operations. It cannot bring back a dead one to life. It would take a lot of those little bottles to make a difference, it's wouldn't a it? a lot of money. Yeah, Memorial Hermann Hospital says it will be the first in South Texas to use this 3D image to detect breast cancer. You know, you watch the news long enough and you realize that some crooks are smarter than others. They have a plan. And then there's this guy, the man who stole a new truck from a car salesman who was giving him a test drive. Absalom Owens is being held on a $100,000 bond. Detectives say he pulled a gun on the salesman after they pulled out of Planet Ford in North Houston. Well, the salesman did what he was told. He got out, he let the guy take the truck, but then the salesman had no trouble pointing out the guy to police because he had made a copy of the man's driver's license before that test drive.